Thank you so much for joining our Google Hangout. We are so excited to host this interview with Lara Downs and Will Friedwald to discuss the great American music icon, Billie Holiday. Praised by NPR as a delightful artist with a unique blend of musicianship and showmanship, pianist Lara Downs has recently released her new album on Steinway & Sons Records entitled A Billie Holiday Songbook, a deeply personal tribute to Lady Day that also coincides with Billie Holiday's birth anniversary next Tuesday, April 7th. Also joining us is author and music critic Will Friedwald, and he's one of the most knowledgeable writers on pop and jazz singers. Will has written for such newspapers and magazines as The Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Village Voice, Entertainment Weekly, Oxford American, BBC Music Magazine, and many more. So now I'd like to introduce you to our Hangout participants, Laura Downs and Will Friedwald. Take it away, Will. Why as a classical musician would you focus on Billie Holiday? As a classical pianist, you never run out of music to play. You know, there's enough music written for the, for the piano in, within that tradition to last you several lifetimes. So um, this really just comes from inside me and from a, a curiosity and a, um, an emotion and a affection and a, a, um, maybe a little bit of an obsession that I've had my whole life with her music and the sound of her voice and wanting to see what I could do with my own instrument, which is such a different instrument. When did you first start listening to Billie Holiday? I was probably six or seven when I first started listening to her music and this was because of the kind of music that was sort of the soundtrack in our house. When I count up my musical influences, of course, it's all the great composers and it's all the great teachers that I've worked with and it's all the great concert musicians I've heard. It's also everything else that has fed into my musical consciousness. Nobody sang like Billie Holiday before her and now, you know, you can point to all these people that have some influence by her, you know, there's a whole Billie Holiday category. How do you select them? I mean, Billie Holiday had this huge songbook. A lot of it had to do with just melodic meat. To pull in a voice like that, a voice that has such flexibility and such communicative power in a raw way, is almost the ultimate challenge. It's just so distinctive. And, and trying to interpret those songs in a way that evokes her but doesn't imitate her. And that's tricky. And that's why I liked the idea of a piano player. And even more so, um, one who's not necessarily uh, uh, seen regularly in the Village Vanguard. On behalf of Crossover Media, I'd like to thank both Lara and Will for such an illuminating conversation on one of the biggest icons in American music. We'll also be putting this Google Hangout up on our Crossover Media YouTube page, so if you'd like to watch this again, you'll be able to do so. Feel free to follow us over on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos and Google Hangouts. Thanks again!